Yeah, I want to go over a couple of pocket guns. Um, I think they're pretty good. Well, number one is the Beretta Model 21A. Now, this comes in a 25 auto, 25 caliber auto, or 22 long rifle. Now, I'd recommend a long rifle because since the time the 25 auto was developed, you get the long rifle like this type, um, mini mags. That's not a 22 magnum, this is just a regular 22 long rifle mini mag. These are pretty close to the power of a 25 auto and a lot cheaper, a lot cheaper. Plus, you know, if you're a reloader, I never reloaded 25 auto, but 25 auto is a pain to reload. <laughs> they are. They're pretty small. They're, they're tiny little cartridges, so they're a pain to get at. The, uh, but this, tw this 22 uh, has actually been used in the Italian Army quite a bit. They'll use this as a backup weapon. You'll see them wearing it. You know, NATO troops, they'll be wearing this thing besides the regular standard service rifle. And you'll also see the Mossad use this on a lot of times special operations. It's a great little weapon. It's a loud little sucker though too because you think a 22 is not, well for a rifle it's not that loud, but when you shoot it out a very short barrel like this, it's uh, it's very loud. Um, the thing I like about this though, it's double action, so you know one pull, it goes, right? The other thing is this pop-up barrel, you can always see if there's a round in the chamber or not, you can always feed one in there manually, close it up, and you're all set to go, all set to fire. You know, it's double action. So it'll go right away. Um, two magazines and these nickel plated uh, mini bag long rifles feed very well in here. It's a very reliable weapon and you can actually hit stuff with this no problem even from 25 yards. Um, very quick magazine release is right here. This to safe, this the pop up barrel, this to safety in the back. You know, I always leave it off. I never really use the safeties too much to tell you the truth on some weapons. On some weapons, this one is one. Because what I'll do is for safety, I'll just pop it up like this. I actually don't have the habit of using the safety back here. This I consider my safety. I'll just pop it up like that. Um, this here, <laughs> now derringers may be <coughs> controversial in some ways because, um, you know, it's strictly a last ditch self defense weapon. Or, you know, sometimes they look at it as a bad guy weapon too, but, you know, it's not necessarily considered that. Now, these come in a number of calibers, like you'll see commonly, it might come in the uh, 22 long rifle. Another one that's pretty good to get is the 22 Magnum, the 22 Magnum. They also sell them like a 32, 25, and um, this is a 38, this is a 38. Now, the one thing to draw back for 38, I would not recommend the 38 unless you're a reloader. Because the standard 38 cartridges are basically, I mean, they don't hurt the weapon, you know. They don't hurt the weapon. You know, you load it like this. You know, you flip this up and you put them down in here. And this is your extractor, right? That's your extractor. Then you close it up and you slide this around. Doing it one hand. It's easy, though. It's very smooth. And it's ready to fire, and you have to pull it all the way back into cock position. It actually has two shots. It'll go one, then the other. The uh, but the thing is, when you're holding this, it's like you barely have two fingers around the um, the weapon itself. So it, if you're using standard 38 cartridge, this thing will fly right out of your hand. I mean, you can't really hold it. You can't really hold it. It's impossible, practically. Plus, it'll shoot very high. You know, this is a very short range weapon. Now, I tried to shoot this more accurately from like 25 yards. I don't know, hang it up. It's pretty tough. It's pretty tough. But I got it down where it wasn't that bad by using special reloads. Um, I used a 110 bullet, 110 bullet in the um, projectile in a 38 Smith & Wesson. It's 38 Special, excuse me. 38 Special. But instead of using the 4.1... Winchester 231, which you could, you work up a little higher, that's where you start, 4.1 grains. I used 3.4. So basically it was a lower power 38 special, so then you wonder what good is that. But it's still, it's a 38 special and the power packs a big hole, you know, pretty good punch. But then the weapon got a little more reliable, so the only way I would recommend getting a 38 Derringer is if you reload. Because you want to take that 
the pa take it down a notch. You want to take it down a notch. And then of course you got like little holsters like this. One simple clip. I like these kind of holsters because they're fast. There's nothing in them. I mean you just, you know, it comes out in two seconds. Two seconds, I mean a half a second. So, um, I can say though, I did a lot of reloading. And there's a lot of special ways you can actually reload for different things. But, you know, reloading is time consuming. And it can, uh, you know, it, it's something you have to be very careful with. It's not dangerous if you do it exactly correct, but you got to make sure all your measurements are right. It's just like everything, you know. I mean, if you're filling up your car with gasoline, you don't want to spill it on the ground, too. I mean, it's something, if you're not familiar with this, you'd have to learn it. So, that type of thing. But, um, uh, as far as uh, the one rec weapon I would recommend the most, and I have another one like this that's not as reliable, but I would recommend the um, Beretta the Beretta and the reason is because it's very reliable seems to work all the time and actually when I shaved down these sights a little bit and got them down to where you know everything lines up great um, this thing is pretty damn accurate it is I can hit stuff 25 yards away no problem like a 8 inch target I can just be nailing it bing bing bang you know so it's very good it's very good very fast very reliable and like I said, the pop-up barrel, you know there's a round in there. You know there's a round in there. It's a very good safety feature. Plus, you know, if you dump one in here, you close it, you got double action, you know that first shot's going to work every time. So, you know, this is what a great weapon. I don't even know if they make these anymore. They probably don't make this exact model, but this was extremely popular with the Mossad. And uh, like I said, the Italian troops carry this as a backup weapon all the time. It's very, very reliable. Something I'd recommend. So anyway.